Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can sum up a dynamic range of data. And we're going to look at it in two different ways. What we're trying to accomplish is if you add additional rows or columns to the data range that it will automatically be included in what you're trying to sum up. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. We have eight months of data for six different salespeople. If I wanted to sum this up, I could do something very simply like type equals sum and then highlight the range I want to include, close that out, hit enter, and I get my total there, and there's my formula. However, let's say I add another column of data. I add September sales. I'm just going to copy that and put that over here and say control V. Notice that it didn't change. My sum is still 14,700,000. So that didn't add to that. So I'll hit control Z to remove that. So one way we can accomplish this is by converting the data range to a table. So if I click anywhere in my data range, use my keyboard shortcut control T, and confirm that the data range is correct and my table has headers, I'll say OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and name this table maybe Corp Sales, hit Enter. And now if I do another formula equals sum, tab, and type Corp Sales, close that out, again, I get the same data. But when I go to add an additional column, I'll copy that, go back to my table, do a control V. Notice it's automatically included in my table and my values have increased. Same if I add another salesperson. I'll just copy that data, bring it over here, paste it in with control V, and again, my sales increase. So as I've added additional months or additional salespeople, the table will assume it's being incorporated into it and adjust automatically the range that Corp Sales contains. Now, let's say you can't use tables or are just not comfortable or for some reason are unable to use tables. How can we accomplish the same thing with a formula? So let's go over to the second tab, Data Range. And I'm going to put in my initial formula the same way, equals sum, highlight this range, close it out, hit enter, and I get the same 14,700. Now, if I want to automatically or dynamically increase the range as I add additional columns or rows, I'm going to use the offset function to define the range of data. So in cell A3, I'm going to type equals sum, and then I'm going to type offset. Now, offset returns a reference to a range in a given number of rows and columns from a given reference. So I'll hit tab, and you can see I need a reference. And then that will be my locking point or my anchor point. And then how many rows and columns down and over to my starting point. And then how high and how wide do I want the range to be. So I'm going to use my reference as cell C6, which is where it says sales. And I'm going to lock that, comma. I'm going to go down one row and over one column, that gets me to cell D7, which is where my values start. Now, I want to identify or calculate the height. In this case, it's six rows high, and the width is eight wide. Now, if I just type the six and an eight, closed out my offset, closed out my sum function, hit enter, I would get the same values. But I need to make that six for the rows high and the eight for the columns wide to be dynamic. So I'm going to use the count function to replace those. So I'll go up into my formula. I'll backspace the six out. And I'm going to use the count function. Look, there we go. The count function. I'm going to count the values that are in column D. And for the columns or how wide I want it. Again, I'm going to use the count function. And the count function, I'm going to use how many columns are in row 7. So again, now I'll 
close that my sum function out, hit enter, and again I get the same amount that I had before because I haven't added any additional rows or columns. But again, what the count function is doing here is counting the just the numbers. Count function counts only numbers that are in a column or in a row. It ignores any text. So it's not going to pick up January or it's not going to pick up the names of any of the salespeople. So now if I go over to my data and I highlight September, I go over to my data range and I add that, notice it automatically included that because when it counted the number of columns or how wide I want it to be, and for row 7, it counted now to include column L, which has an additional column worth of numbers. The same if I copy and add another salesperson to my data range. I include it down here. I hit Control V. Again, notice my values have increased. So if just to confirm, if I go up to my sum function, clear that out and highlight this whole range here, hit enter, notice I get the same values 19587 400. So I can tell that my offset function is working properly and now as I add additional rows and columns to my data it'll automatically be picked up in my sum. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more please feel free to stop by my website excel-bytes.com and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.